Okay, so in this video, we will find the following limit using L'Hopital's rule. But first, we have to verify that indeed the method applies. So we have to check our case. As x approaches 0, by continuity, sine of x will approach sine of 0, and sine of 0 is equal to 0, minus 0 is 0, over, and as x goes to 0, x cubed also goes to 0. So as we have a 0 over 0 case, L'Hopital's rule does apply. As always, the limit stays the same. And now we replace the numerator by its derivative and the denominator by its derivative. Derivative of sine of x is cos of x, minus the derivative of x, which is 1, over the derivative of x cubed, which is simply 3x squared. Well, to see what we're dealing with, let's check our case. As x goes to 0, cos of x by continuity will approach cos of 0, which is 1, minus 1 is 0. Over, as x goes to 0, so does 3x squared. So we have once again an indeterminate case. The ratio of two functions both shrinking to 0. So we still don't know what this limit is equal to. But, because we still have a 0 over 0 case, we can apply L'Hopital's rule for a second time. Once again, the limit stays the same. And now we replace the numerator by its derivative. The derivative of cos of x is negative sine of x minus the derivative of 1, which is 0, so that's gone, over the derivative of 3x squared, which is, of course, 6x. Let's see what kind of case we're dealing with. As x goes to 0, sine of x will approach sine of 0, which is 0, so negative 0 is 0, over, and as x goes to 0, 6x also shrinks to 0. So once again, we have an indeterminate case. We have the ratio of two functions, and they are both shrinking to zero. So we still don't know what the original limit is equal to. But again, as the case is zero over zero, we can try to use L'Hopital's rule for a third time. The limit stays the same. The derivative of sine is cosine, so this will become negative cosine over the derivative of 6x, which is simply 6. And now we have a trivial limit. As x goes to 0, cos of x will approach cos of 0, which is 1, so we'll get negative 1 on the numerator, over 6 is a constant, so it remains 6. And so you see that the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x minus x over x cubed is equal to negative 1 over 6. And that was after applying L'Hopital's rule three times. The point is, as long as you have a 0 over 0 case, the limit is indeterminate. You have the ratio of two functions that are shrinking to 0, so we still don't know what happens. But as long as you have a 0 over 0 case, you can apply L'Hopital's rule as many times as needed until, hopefully, the limit becomes trivial. And that's it.